Oh, guys, yep, this is definitely going to be a two-part episode. Definitely going to be a two-part episode. So, uh, let's get this started. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you all had a great weekend. It is Saturday, so for those who are new to the channel, I definitely appreciate you clicking on this video. Stick around and smash that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all of our future videos. Now in this episode guys, it is that time yet again. We have another mail call. Look at how gigantic this box is guys. I don't even know what's inside. Now this gigantic box right here is from Matt Hughes. He reached out to me and said he wanted to send me a care package, but I was not expecting something of this magnitude, guys. Look at how large it is. So I'm really hoping it's like boxes taking up a lot of the room because this is a lot of stuff that could potentially be inside of this thing. And then we have this package right here from our man, Kingnut Diecast. I hate putting this box next to this, but man. That thing is gigantic. So I know Kingnut sent the mystery model bone shaker, which I am super stoked to finally get in the collection. We had a couple of those boxes drop, but of course the bone shakers were gone. So my man hooked it up. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So I totally forgot to hit record. So here is where we started off. Man, that looks good. That looks good. I didn't know it was a satin finish really cool deco man very jungle almost aztec looking dude that is sweet man it's been a while since they've had a mystery model bone shaker i think the last one was like a hawaiian tiki so it looks like the bone shaker always falls in these type of themes there we go man so let's see number three. Ooh, nice Check out this Stepside Chevy, man. That is a beautiful 69. The Island Tour, there you go, it's an island theme. Island Tour, beautiful color setup. I'm glad they threw just some chrome five spokes on there. Nothing too crazy like aero discs or anything colored. That is nice. Tan interior. Yeah, that's a beautiful truck. Let's get the sticker out of there. There we go, 69 Chevy pickup. All right, number two. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Man, that green is super vibrant. That is a beautiful Dodge, man. Beautiful Dodge. And look at that extra paint. <laughs> extra paint on that back quarter window. That is funny. Most of that will probably flake off. Hopefully not enough to remove it from the body, but it looks like it can come off. Yeah, that is nice. Definitely love this, man. I think this is the Brazilian Charger, if I'm not mistaken. You guys let me know down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's the Brazilian Charger. Oh, there you go. Yep, 74 Brazilian Dodge Charger. Nice. I guess I could have just looked at the sticker. Number one. I don't even know what number one is. Oh, there we go, man. Check that out. Nice. You got the custom Volkswagen Beetle, beautiful satin finish on this baby blue, and the wood panel looks super cool. Yeah, that is a very nice setup. Man, that looks good. Love the choice of steelies and the color, man. That nice peanut butter interior just complements it very nice. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Beetle, man. All right, there we go. Custom Volkswagen Beetle. Dude, my man hooking it up with the heat. So there we go, King Up, my man, thank you so much. The Bone Shaker is a beautiful addition. All of these are super cool, especially the 2019 convertible moving parts from Matchbox, man. Thank you so much, man. Sending the top three plus the Bone Shaker and the Porsche 934.5. Thank you again, man. That is freaking sweet. Now, I hate doing this, especially after an awesome package like this, we're going to jump into this big boy right here. So let's go ahead and grab our knife and let's see what's inside. All right, here we go. 
a little trusty knife, but let's go ahead and see what's inside this thing, man. I always get nervous when a big box like this comes because I don't know what to expect, but I know you guys are excited. I'm excited. Let's just go ahead and open it up. Where to begin? Well, I guess we can start off with this letter. Oh, we got some pictures in there, but let's go ahead and read the letter first. All right, to the Mustang Hunter. I got in touch with you a few months back, finally got your box all together. I watch your channel and I love the videos and Mustangs as well. And everything else is sickness. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, a good one. Hope you enjoy. Keep those videos coming. Thank you for your service. From Matt Hughes, peace. And here is a picture of one of my personal cars for your collection. Uh-oh. Pictures, huh? Oh, man. Dude, that fox body is wicked sick. Holy crap, man. Now that is how you do a notch back, man. Check that out. Beautiful setup, dude. Oh, man. That is definitely an eight, nine second fox body right there. Look at that drag wing coming off. You got the parachute. Beautiful Hoosiers. Look at that exhaust coming out the front. Holy sh... Whew. Holy crap, that is nice. That is a beautiful fox body, man. Well freaking done. Man, that is nice. I got to get a picture frame so I can have this set up in the collection. You got to let me know some more info on that fox body, man. It, and if I'm right, is that an 8 second car cuz it looks like it it looks like it's set up very very well. So you let me know, man. That is freaking awesome. All right. Oh, my gosh, dude. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, and I don't even know where to start. Let's go ahead and start out with this Monopoly. I already see the NASCAR theme on there. Ooh, look at that. Oh, nice. Dude, that is wicked. You got six collectibles in here, but check it out. Look at that lineup, guys. Freaking awesome. Man, that is sweet. And look at the board. You got Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart. Oh, man, that is freaking sweet, dude. Thank you so much. That's cool. You get the gas can, flag man, war wagon, gear shift, race car, and the transporter for your pieces. Dude, that is freaking cool. Oh, man. I don't even know where to put this. Let's just sit this off to the side. All right, and there's a poster, I think. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Look how freaking cool that is. What is this? Shelby Parts, Tony Branda. Is this Shelby Parts, your Shelby Cobra dealer? Holy crap, man. Look at that, 69 GT500, looks like a 66 Shelby, Ford GT40, his Shelby, his famous Shelby Cobra. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is freaking awesome. Where do you find something like this? Oh, now that is a piece to frame, man. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. Like, how, is this a photocopy or is this a real hand-drawn picture? Because I don't know, man. This is just on regular white paper. I feel like the guy literally drew it and then laminated it. Oh, man. Matt, dude, thank you so much. But you got to let me know some info on this picture, dude. That is too freaking awesome. I definitely got to get some frames, man. I have some awesome ones that have been sent. Not like this, but just, you know, photos like that. Just I just want to hang stuff up on the walls. And oh my gosh, dude. All right, guys. You can see a lot of carded stuff. Very freaking well packaged. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and start with this one. We got a Ford Raptor 2011 SVT Raptor in black. Check that out. That is a beautiful truck right there, especially in black. Got the red stripes, very menacing setup. Definitely do dig this. So this is out of the Just Truck series from Jada. You know, I see these all the time and I'm always tempted to pick them up. I just never do. But here we go. Please don't start down a rabbit hole, man. <laughs> don't, don't get me going down a rabbit hole. That is awesome. 
All right, let's see, we have another big time muscle. Ooh, 2017 Ford GT, a beautiful pearl yellow. Ooh, it's got white stripes running down the center. That is a nice color setup. Oh gosh, dude, that is nice. Beautiful, so I do actually have a few of the Ford GTs from 2017 in the collection of this scale. So this actually fits in perfectly with them. Man, that is nice. God, I wish you guys could see it. You can see a lot of the flake right here, but in person, this thing just sparkles, man. That'd be a beautiful 4 GT to actually see in person. Especially because you never really see yellow with white stripes, and I think that looks really good. Dude, thank you. What else is in here? Ooh, got an M2. Oh my gosh, dude, I have not seen this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is sick. Oh, that is sick. 1970 Mach 1, 351 in the Ford Performance livery. Oh my gosh, dude. In that avalanche gray. Wow, I have not seen this, dude. I have not seen this one. But this is a awesome Mach 1, man. Gosh, that is beautiful. You guys cannot tell me that that is not a beautiful color, man. You know, if I were to ever change Ruby's uh, race livery from what it is now and do a full body wrap, I would probably do this one. Same exact livery. Same exact livery. Dude, that is freaking awesome. Let's see, what is next? Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go, man. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, I actually do have this one loose, and it is right there. But, man, am I excited to put this on the wall with the other ones I have. So, those are the only uh, carded ones. These are like the, like the older plastic cased ones. But this right here, man. Ooh, that is beautiful. Man, I'm stoked to have this carded, man. Thank you so much. Oh, oh. Oh, that is nice. My man is sending straight fire, man. Straight freaking fire. All right, what do we got here? We got a stock rods racing champion. Oh, is this the Cobra? I think it is. Yep, nice. Mark Martin's number six Cobra Mustang. Check it out. Cobra on the back, beautiful race livery. I have this loose, but now we can put it back on the wall with the other carded ones I have. I got the GT500 number six, and I got the 2005 Mustang GT number six up there. And now we can throw the Cobra, the 96, 90, yeah, that's the 97, 98 Cobra actually because of the tail lights. Nice. And this card condition is almost cherry. Look at that. And I appreciate that you wrapped them up so freaking well. Here we go, the Dare Mustang. <laughs> oh yeah, that is awesome. I think this is the one I just picked up. Yep, it is sitting right up top, right over there. But I do not care, man. Having more is merrier in a Mustang collection. And this is just another one, dude. Awesome, there we go. In case you guys didn't see that episode, I did find this. I believe it was at the Trader's Market or Vintage Outlet when I went um, traveling. Sykeston Department of Public Safety, of course, out of Missouri. Freaking awesome stuff right here, man. And like I say, guys, even if these are duplicates that I already have, they are still perfect for the collection because I had that one loose, I have this one loose, now I got them back on the card so I can hang them up with the Mustang collection, which is perfect. And then of course we have another one of these, which is Cherry because they are exclusive editions that are very hard to find. I am stoked, man. Next up is a big bundle. Oh, here we go. Some more gems. Check this out. These are the tuned versions of the first edition Mustang. These are the fat backs. Look at that massive, just fat freaking tire in the back. I do have one of these. But like I say, more Mustangs for the collection is always a good thing. And this is collection number 41 out of 2004's first edition release. And then we have the 68 Cobra Jet. Now I think I actually picked this one up too. But here we go man, Premier Edition, one of 25,000 
Matchbox, the white with the red C stripe on there. God, dude, that red interior is cherry. Look at that, guys. Matchbox really, 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 really needs to bring these back. They really do, man. Gosh, they got to bring these back. I love the new opening door or the moving parts ones, but nothing hits it like these do. I mean, you got the premium real riders on there. The Goodyear white lettering just ties it all together, and they were just super freaking cool. Nice. There we go. Beautiful matchbox right there. All right, correction. I do not have this one. Um, I was confusing it with the Johnny Lightning, which came in the exact same livery. Check that out. Or same deco. Red Sea Stripe. This one is new to the collection, so this is not a duplicate. Nice. Ooh, and next up is the Matchbox Ford 2-Pack. Here we go. This is the Then and Now series. Now, they haven't done this in I don't know how long. Maybe whenever this series was released back in 2002, 2003. But you got the 68 Mustang GT Fastback with the red 99 convertible. And they both have the 100 year centennial deco right there on the back fender. Now, I actually do have this one sitting up top over there, but I did make a hole in it and it's kind of bent a little bit. But here we go, number two, man. Number freaking two. God, I love getting these. They're just not common to find. Not freaking common, but they're beautiful. All right, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. This is one I've never seen before. Check it out, guys. My first ever small carded majorette. And look at that. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow, that color, man. Look at the metal flake in it. Is this a 2013? Let's see the back. This looks like a 2013 Boss 302. Beautiful metallic orange. Gorgeous freaking majorette, man. Look at that. I've never seen this in our area, not even in our state. So I don't know where you find this specific majorette card at. But dude, this is awesome. The only ones we get are these right here. The big bulky um, box versions of it. So the Racing Cars series. Got the carbon fiber on the side. That is a freaking beauty, man. Wow. Never seen this. This is definitely a new one for the collection. All right, let's see. Next up, we have another M2. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Another one I do not have. Look at that. 65 GT 350R, man. Gosh, dude, that is freaking awesome. Look at that yellow tinted headlights, the racing livery with the number 17. And of course, the Shelby race team, dude. God, that is freaking awesome. Oh, this is an old one because they don't put that limited piece anymore. Like this whole box design is completely different. You can see it right there. Like they don't do that anymore where they have limited production piece with that little stamp. They don't do that anymore. So this is pretty old. I want to say like 2019-ish. Uh, let's see. 2017. So yeah, fairly old. Because they don't do that no more. And another M2 Mustang I do not have in the collection. There's still a whole bunch to go. Let's go ahead and go down this one. We got some Matchbox as well. Ooh, here we go. Check that out, man. The Pagani Waira Roadster in red metallic. Ooh, that is beautiful. Now I have the charcoal metallic, but I've never seen the red. And that looks so freaking good. Look at the black chrome five spokes. The detail on the motor, you can kind of see it. Oh, dude, nice. Love that, man. I have a lot of Paganis in my collection. And this is my second moving parts one. We have like zero room. Let's go ahead and see if this thing goes sideways. Oh, here we go. I actually do have this one and it's loose. It's the 94 Mitsubishi Evo. Four. Gosh, dude. I love these, man. I'll probably keep this one carded. All right. Next up, we got another stock rods from Racing Champions. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. Check that out. Beautiful F body, dude. 
Freaking awesome. Look at that. Derek Copes number 36 Skittles. Oh, dude. Love the freaking Trans Ams, man. Gotta love it. And especially in the Skittles livery. I mentioned it last time I got a Skittles car. The Skittles is definitely one that is hard to find. It is very, very hard to find race car right there. And especially the Firebird. Oh, yeah, dude. That is freaking sweet. All right, let's see. Ooh, we got a Johnny Lightning. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, that is freaking nice. 2005 Mustang GT. White and black is my favorite setup on any car, dude. That's just so clean. Look at that, dude. One of 2,000. Pretty low production for Johnny Lightning. It's out of the Hot Rod Collection. Let's see what the muscle facts are. The first 2005 Mustang rolled off the assembly line of on September 27, 2004. Yep, because mine was an October Mustang. So mine's actually a 2004 release for the 2005 model. Um, the GT could accelerate from 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds in high-performance white. Man, I love how they threw the boss stripes on there, dude. That looks so freaking good. So good. Man, that is nice. What is this? 2017 release. Man, another one I do not have in the collection. All right, let's see. We got another Jada. Let's go ahead and open up this one since it's right there. All right, let's see. What's in this beauty? Oh, yeah. Ooh, with... 